Have you found yourself scratching your head trying to figure out where to get all of the items for the Community Center Bulletin Board? This is one of the hardest bundles to complete. But there's no need of fear because this video will walk you through how to find each item you need for the normal and non-remix bundles. The Bulletin Board will unlock once you have completed any other three Community Center bundles. The reward for completing all of the Bulletin Board bundles is two hearts with every non-datable villager who you have met in person. This is a bundle that requires several upgrades. For these upgrades, I will show a list of required resources so that you can pause the video and see what you will need. The bulletin board contains five bundles. The Chef's Bundle, Dye Bundle, Field Research Bundle, Fodder Bundle, and Enchanter Bundle. Let's start with the Chef's Bundle. After completing this bundle, you will be rewarded with three pink cakes. To complete this bundle, you will need maple syrup. This can be found by placing a tapper on a maple tree. Tappers are available at Foraging Level 3 and will take 9 nights to obtain maple syrup. Next, you will need a fiddlehead fern. This can be found by foraging in the secret woods. To get to the secret woods, you will need a steel axe to break down the log that blocks the path. If you don't want to upgrade your axe, you can actually place a chair on either side of the log and sit on it to hop over the large log. You can also exit the woods by using the same method. The next item is a truffle. Truffles are found by pigs on your farm. To get a pig, you will need to have upgraded your barn. Pigs cost 16,000 gold. They also take 10 nights to mature before they are able to start foraging for truffles. One thing to note is that pigs are only able to find truffles when it's not raining and during spring, summer, or fall. They are not able to find truffles in winter. You will also need a poppy. These are summer flowers, which can be purchased from Pierre's shop and take seven days to grow. The next two items are cooking recipes. In order to complete these bundles, you will either need to have your farmhouse upgraded by Robin to add a kitchen or craft a cookout kit. This is a crafting recipe available at Forging Level 9. It is important to note that any cookout kits left overnight will disappear the next day. The first recipe is a Mackey roll. You will get this recipe from the Queen of Sauce TV show or the Stir Drop Saloon. The ingredients include one of any fish, one seaweed, and one rice. Or, if you don't mind getting a little dirty, you can sometimes find the cooked recipe in the garbage outside of the Stir Drop Saloon. The second recipe is a fried egg. You will automatically know this recipe and the ingredients only include one egg. The dye bundle is next. The reward for this bundle is a seed maker. The first item is a red mushroom. These can be found in the mines, foraging in the secret woods in summer or fall, or in the mushroom cave if you chose this option. You can also find them by tapping a mushroom tree or in garbage cans. The next item is a sea urchin. This is a beach forageable found on the other side of the beach once you have completed the wood bridge. Emily may also send this in the mail as a gift, all saltwater crab fish also produce them in the fish pond. You will also need a sunflower. These are summer and fall flowers that can be purchased from Pierre and take eight days to grow. Next is a duck feather. Ducks will occasionally drop them with sufficient friendship, mood, and luck. You can get a duck once you have upgraded your coop to the big coop. You will also need an aquamarine. This is a gem that can be found in the mines after level 40. Next is the red cabbage. This is the most difficult item to obtain in all the community center bundles. To guarantee that you obtain a red cabbage in year one, when you start the game, click on the gear icon. From here, you can select the guarantee year one completable checkbox. This will ensure that a traveling merchant will sell a red cabbage seed within your first year. The traveling merchant can be found in the cinder snap forest southwest of your farm. They are selling products every Friday and Sunday from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. The traveling merchant may also sell the full-grown red cabbage. It is important to visit them every time they are in town to make sure you get the red cabbage. If you are not able to find the seed or the full-grown vegetable, the red cabbage seed can also be found at Pierre's store during the summer of year two, the night market at year two, or the skull caverns, as there is a small chance that the mummies, serpents, or purple slimes will drop the seed. Next is the field research bundle. For this bundle, you will need a purple mushroom. These can be found in the mines starting at 481 or in the Skull Cavern. The Mushroom Cave will also produce purple mushrooms if you chose this option. You can also receive the mushrooms by chopping a mushroom tree as a gift at the Feast of the Winter Star, garbage picking as a gift from the wizard, or in the forest farm map. Next is the Nautilus Shell. This is a beach forageable available during winter. Demetrius can also send you one in the mail. You will also need a chub. 
This is a fish that can be caught in the mountain lake or in the ginger snap forest during all seasons, regardless of the time or weather. Next is a frozen geode. These can be found in the mines on floors 41 to 79. Now let's talk about the fodder bundle. The reward for this bundle is a heater. To complete this bundle, you will need wheat. This is a summer or fall crop that can be bought from Pierre and takes four days to grow. The next item is hay. Hay can be harvested by using your scythe or cutting back grass or wheat. However, you will only be able to harvest hay once you have built a silo. Three apples are also needed. Apples can be grown from apple saplings, which can be purchased from Pierre for 4,000 gold. Be mindful when you plant the saplings. It will take 28 days to grow and can only produce apples during the fall. If you have a greenhouse by now, I would recommend that you put your apple tree there so it produces apples year round. Occasionally, the fruit bat cave will also produce apples if you chose that option. The final bundle in the bulletin board is the enchanter bundle. The reward for this bundle is five gold bar. For this bundle, you will need oak resin. This can be found by tapping an oak tree and will take seven nights to produce. Next, you will need wine. Wine can be made by placing fruit in a keg. A rabbit's foot is also needed. This is an animal product produced by a rabbit. Rabbits can be purchased from Marnie for 8,000 gold once you have the deluxe coop. There is also a 0.8% chance that a rabbit's foot will be dropped by a serpent in the skull cavern. Next is a pomegranate. Pomegranates can be grown from pomegranate saplings, which can be purchased from Pierre for 1,500 gold. These saplings take 28 days to grow and will only produce pomegranates during the fall. Again, if you have a greenhouse, I recommend you plant your sapling there so you can produce fruit year round. If you do not have the time or resources, almost all of these items can be found at the traveling cart. However, the following you will not be able to purchase, aquamarine, frozen geode, and hay. Now you know how to complete the community center bulletin board bundle. With good planning, this bundle can absolutely be completed and you will be well on your way to improving the Pelican Town community. I'm curious, please comment below on what you find to be the hardest community center bundle.